There are so many important components to a computer that it's always difficult to choose the best model for that specific zone or components. For example, the CPU, you want to get the best. The RAM, you want to get the best. The motherboard, you want to get the best. The hard drive, you want to get the best, etc., etc. Now, for this build, I've kind of uh, went on and chosen the best motherboard as an ITX form. The This one, the ROG. Citrix Z390 i Gaming. Now this motherboard is absolutely amazing. There's been a lot of uh, good reviews about this and one of the good things about that, I'll come to the specifications later. Now my issue with this is when it arrived is there was absolutely no seal um, on this at all. And I bought this from Amazon. A link to the description is below. Uh, this, came from, this came from Amazon Europe. It wasn't available in the UK for some reason. But all the instructions and everything else was in English. So... I don't know, um, maybe it is a UK version in Europe. We're leaving the EU anyway. So my issue is that it didn't come with a sealed uh, sticker here, which is quite a shame. I just wanted something, some sort of assurance saying that no one has opened this before. But anyway, opening this, coming right here, you get the motherboard right there. Woo -wee! It comes with a um, antenna for the Wi-Fi. Wi it's got a built-in Wi-Fi, which is great. So if you don't want to run cables, it, uh, it's, got, uh, it's got the right antenna as well. It has uh, four uh, SATA connection, connections for four different SATA hard drives. If you do use the M2, uh, the SATA one will get disabled. So um, these are, I won't be using these at all, but I have a plan for the hard drives. Um, also, it comes with a um, RGB header right here. You, you can't see these through the the camera because it's pointless even me taking them out of the package because none of not all of these I'm going to be using it's got comes with cable ties again you probably won't be able to see that very well uh, no need to just, just uh, and also it comes with uh, another RGB header no actually that's not an RGB header that's the uh, front case connection to the uh, motherboard so it's got an adapter there which is pretty cool and it comes with four different types of screws for the uh, M2 hard drives, which I don't know, I don't know why. It obviously comes with the instructions uh, manual. It comes with a time to gear up. Here's 20% 20 20 of coupon. Meh. With the CD, who the hell uses this stuff? Come on, stop sending this stuff. No one's got a CD drive on their machines anymore, unless you live in 1999. It comes with a thank you card from ROG, saying thank you for buying our overpriced, um, uh, motherboard or products and then obviously a quick start guide uh, and it, came, it did come with a sticker book which is right here it comes with, with a ROG stick Republic of Gaming uh, stickers and stuff that I will probably not stick anywhere because I want to keep my machine clean now for the ultimate motherboard I'm really excited about this to be honest I can't wait look how small this is this is absolutely the smallest thing I've ever seen. I'm trying to find something to compare to scale. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Here we have a Game Boy Advanced cartridge. That's a bad comparison, isn't it? That's a, bad, a very bad comparison. Here we have a Nintendo Switch cartridge comparison. Toothbrush. Literally a length of an old toothbrush. That's absolutely amazing. Look at that! That's the size of a toothbrush! Literally, from both sides. That's really cool, man. What's so amazing about this motherboard? Of course, that on the back, I'm going to come close a little bit, you will see you have your sound, your Wi-Fi, your uh, USB 3.1, I think. You have your USB-Cs, uh, USB 3 again, USB 2s. If you want to use the native... Um, uh, graphics cards then I wouldn't you could use that if you want but no I wouldn't use that at all um, but this is this is really cool it's got USB-C which is really really cool I'm really uh, happy about that also this whole section here is actually it's a heat sink this is a heat sink of the um, of all the different chipsets that sit behind that I'm assuming the the south bridge or north you know back in my day we had the south bridge and the north bridge now we just have the Z 390 chipset and that's it does both south bridge and north bridge but yeah it's, it's all below here 
Um, another thing that it has, which is really cool, is that it's got the M, uh, the M.2 uh, connector with a heatsink, so that goes below here, and you could put one in the back as well here. So here, you can put another M.2, one on the back, one on the front. That's really cool. I have very few motherboards support that as well, you know, so support that, which is really, really impressive. Um, it has four, four SATA connections right here, 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 right? It's got your uh, USB 3 connection, your USB-C to the front, uh, your power, of course, here, two RGB outputs, one of them for uh, Aurora RGB right here. This is the Aurora RGB. Your uh, all-in-one, it got, comes with an all-in-one uh, connection for um, for the fan. And it comes with two fans, one for the CPU, one for the chassis of the case as well, which is really cool. Uh, now, this is a Socket 1151, uh, LGA Socket 1000. How do you say it? Is it 1151 or 1151? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below about the things that is there. But what I do like about this is... Um, it obviously comes in a beautiful ROG coloring screen, which is made for gaming. And what was so cool about it is it comes with its own LED strips right here as well. See that? So it kind of matches your Aurora light systems, which is really, really cool. And comes with one PCI 3. I'm, I'm not sure if you could upgrade this, but I, I do know that um, a PCI 4 is out. You don't get much difference between three and four, but it's it's out, and I'm not sure if you could if in the future firmwares you'll be able to upgrade this and get that um, done as well. Now the weird thing is I don't know what this is for. I have tried to look online, I couldn't find anything. Let me know if you know. You see that white? Yeah, that that white strip. That's I don't know what that's for. Not sure what that's for. But you could put a um, like a a, a, mag a strip. You know, you have on your precision like mobile phone or whatever. You have those strips that go into you know for your for your for your screen. There's a strip that comes from the motherboard to the to the actual uh, phone itself. But I don't know what this is for. I don't know why that's there. I've been looking everywhere, couldn't find anything. It comes with two DDR4 uh, connections as well, which is what I'll be using the 32 gigabyte of RAM on which is pretty impressive. And obviously these two are for the sound uh, uh, processors or whatever they, they want to call them. But these are for the sound here as well. Here you have the USB 2 uh, connection where the all-in-one uh, uh, fan will go in because it comes with an LCD. You'll see that in the future videos. And um, the front and the front audio and the front uh, connections for the chassis and, and whatnot so a reset and whatever like i said I'm, i've got a five-year plan for this so i don't want to upgrade this machine for five years and i'm hoping it will kind of be a machine where i could do a lot of things um one thing i do hate about intel um motherboards is these these are the most this is the most sensitive part of the actual motherboard itself if you bend one pin you messed up. Might as well just bend the um, bend the whole thing because the manufacturer won't take it back. And uh, I had a problem when uh, when I when I used to build computers back in the day. Um, I was I bought an Abit motherboard. I don't know if you remember Abit. They they used to be huge. They had their like, competition between them and Asus or Asus. Say it right. All right. Anyway. And I just bought one and I was going to put an Intel CPU in there and my hand slipped and I bent all the pins and they refused to take it back. And back in those days, I spent £190 on it and that was a lot of money back in the day. Now this cost £215. Uh, I'll put the link to that in the description below so you could check it out if you like. This is probably one of the best um, overkill of um, motherboards for, for this size. Uh, you probably could get ones from Gigabyte, which is probably cheaper. But, yeah, I thought I want to get Asus. I've always used Asus since that A-bit problem. And um, as a moment of pleasure for everyone, let's get that focused. Focused.
There's no noise. Oh, look at that shine. Yeehaw! Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed seeing me unbox this uh, motherboard. Please leave a comment in the section below, and I will hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.